Hey guys, I stumbled upon a few videos today. Both left me scratching my head for different reasons. One is the current press secretary, and I feel bad for her. She had huge shoes to fill. Kaylee is the nation's sweetheart, and she did a stellar job as Trump's press secretary. But this new gal cannot seem to answer any of the questions directly. She, unless she's thrown a softball, then she's able to uh, bat at a few of those. But um, she likes to say, I'll have to circle back around with you on that. Check this out. In vain. Um, I'll have to just circle back with you. We can circle back with I'm, I'm happy to circle back with you. I can circle back. Uh, I will have to circle back on that one. That's an excellent question. Oh, such an important question. Uh, we will circle back with you and we'll, we'll circle back with you. It's an interesting question, but uh, we'll, we'll circle back. I'm happy to circle back, but I'll have to circle back with you on it. It's a good question, but we'll circle back with you on this today. We will certainly circle back with you more directly. Uh, I hate to disappoint you, but I will have to circle back with you on that as well. I'll circle back if there's more I can share with you. Ridiculous, right? I mean, come on, I could do a better job. Any <laughs> That was my attempt at a wink. Anyways, the other one, okay, I'm gonna show you it. And this one's got me thinking, I love thinkers. And it's basically Trump shown in the Oval Office. And you can see out the windows, you can see that the setting behind him is very different than the setting behind Joe Biden in his Oval Office. So check it out. There could be a perfectly reasonable explanation for what we are seeing, but it doesn't make a lot of sense to me at first, second, or third glance. I want your opinion. There's certainly no corners, and you look, there's a certain openness, but there's nobody out there. You know, there is an openness, but I've never seen anybody out there, actually, as you can imagine. But these are just all starting points, uh, and uh, we're in the process of rebuilding the economy. There's truth to that. There's certainly no corners. And you look, there's a certain openness, but there's nobody out there. You know, there is an openness, but I've never seen anybody out there, actually, as you can imagine. But we're going to rebuild our economy as well. And these are just all starting points. Uh, and uh, we're going to in the process of rebuilding the economy. Does that one have you thinking, too? Like, I was never a conspiracy theorist. But now I'm like, what the hell is going on? Nothing rational makes sense to me for why what we're seeing out the oval office windows are so completely different my mom is here watching my kids right now and i went and showed her that video and she's like what so and she's not into any of the conspiracy theory stuff like she poo poos half the stuff i show her but for this she was like hold up that's weird why aren't people talking about this and I'm like, because the media is fake news. Um, super strange. Please, in your comments, tell me what you think is happening. I almost forgot. Tomorrow is my very first live stream show with Right America Media. www.right, not white. Somebody thought it was white America Media. <laughs> no, right, R-I-G-H-T, americamedia.com. I will be live streaming a show, not just audio, video two, at 4 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Mountain, 6 p.m. Central, 7 p.m. Eastern. You're welcome. And I would love to see you on there. It's my first show. I'm sure there'll be some bloopers. I know my producer doesn't want to hear that, but <laughs> I'm all about embracing just what being a human entails, and that is bloopers. And that's why I share my imperfections with you guys openly. If it makes you feel any better, I've done my job. <laughs> Anyways, I hope to see you guys there. And if you're not able to make it live, I will share the recording with you. And please give me feedback. I'm going to be interviewing someone that I have made friends with who is a retired police officer and firefighter in the Chicago area. And we became friends through TikTok. And he's gonna be my first guest. And it's my first time interviewing somebody. So if you guys have suggestions for interview questions moving forward, by all means, I love feedback. I really do. Don't be an ass, but give me feedback. <laughs> I hope to see you there.